This is another example of exporting PNG sequences from Adobe After Effects and importing them into Adobe Arrow. Here's the example animation file that I created in After Effects. You can see some of the keyframes that are set up. There is a background layer, this white kind of crunchy texture that I'm using because I want that to be applied in the scene. Black that you see is part of the composition settings. It's actually not going to be rendered when we go to create a uh, PNG sequence. To export, I have to render queue, uh, change the format to PNG sequence. And also make sure that you turn on RGB plus alpha. Uh, that's gonna give you that transparency in the background. All right, so from here, you just save it out um, wherever you think it needs to be. And uh, we'll talk about the next steps after that. One of the things actually that you probably wanna look at is how big the file size is gonna be. So I realized when I exported this out that it was way too big. It was like hundreds of megabytes. And one thing I realized, like I probably don't need all those frames. I could actually uh, bring the frames down. Instead of exporting 30 frames per second, I just did something like 15 frames per second. And you know, each animation you can get away with uh, a lower frame rate possibly, or think about doing lower uh, or smaller pieces and looping those sections. Uh, that could be one other uh, thing to think about because it's just gonna take a long time to load on your device and in your computer if you have a really big file. So. After you export your PNG sequence, you'll want to zip it uh, and compress the file, and then you take that file and drag it into your Creative Cloud Files folder. Um, now I'm gonna load that file. I actually um, have a file set up already, um, but I'm gonna show you how to import that from your uh, Creative Cloud folder. Uh, first thing I'm gonna do is just anchor, uh, find a vertical anchor for this, uh, and just uh, plain old wall here. The next thing I'm gonna do is add from Creative Cloud. This is actually a previous version, so you'll notice the file name is different. Uh, and you can see how long it takes to load, even on a home Wi-Fi connection. If you're out walking, it could take even longer. So here's the updated version uh, with a fewer frames per second. In order to play the sequence, I'm gonna need to tap on Behaviors, Play Images. Uh, you'll go and select the subject that you want to animate, so that zip file. And you can tweak the settings here. You could do an infinite loop on and off. You can go back and forth. You can actually change the speed of this. And here I am previewing what it looks like. And you see as I walk around, it, it adapts to the space. Um, I'm going to record a video. And this is a video that was recorded through Arrow. So this is a way to share things, uh, your projects, if you want to share them to people. And here's another example of taking this out into the real space, out onto a wall, uh, and previewing what that looks like. So I hope that's been helpful to give you another look at how you could use a PNG sequence with Adobe Arrow. Let me know if this has been helpful or if you have any questions. 